How to straighten your hair with a hair dryer, step by step. To get silky shiny hair, it's not necessary to use the straightener every day. It's much better if we use a hair dryer. When you get out of the shower, pat your hair dry gently to get rid of any excess water. Next up, you want to detangle your hair using your favorite brush. In my opinion, the ones that have wider bristles are the ones that avoid breakage the most. Now it's time to apply some heat protectant spray to your hair. If you like to take hot showers, your bathroom will probably be full of mist afterwards, so I recommend you to wait for a while or go to a different room to dry your hair. We all know that if we try to blow dry our hair in a humid environment, it will get all frizzy and difficult to tame. Now it's time to grab your favorite blow dryer. In my case, I'm using this limited edition blow dryer by Custo Barcelona, which is my personal favorite. When looking for a good hair dryer, the most important thing is the power, which you can check at the bottom of the hair dryer. Another important thing to look for in a good blow dryer would be the different heat and speed settings plus the cool shot button. Now let's get into the process of blow drying our hair. First of all, you want to stick your hair dryer on your hair for a few minutes just to get rid of the excess water. If you want extra volume, you can do this upside down just like I'm doing here. Once you're done with that, you will need a round brush. The size of it depends on the length of your hair. Or if you prefer it, you can also use a medium paddle brush with holes. So the first thing we want to do is section the top of our hair and pin it away so that it won't bother us. We will be working our way from the bottom to the top. So take your two sections, bring them to the front and attach the nozzle to the blow dryer. You can either hold your blow dryer like this or place your hand like that. And now you want to lay your nozzle flat against your hair. And now we're going to be round brushing our hair from the roots to the bottom. Now you want to take a section of hair, place it on top of your brush, do a little round brushing at the roots and slide your blow dryer down to your ends. Do a little more round brushing there just so that they will be perfectly sleek and move on to your following section. You want to make sure to work really well on your root area before sliding your blow dryer down. When blow drying your hair, it's very important to use a curling motion with a brush, especially if you're working on difficult areas such as the roots or the ends. For those of you who don't want volume at the roots, this is another technique. You need to wrap your section around the brush and slide it down slowly. Let's see this one more time. Take a section, wrap it around your brush and just slide it down slowly as I'm doing here. And as I mentioned earlier, if you don't want to use a round brush, you can use a paddle brush the same way. Now, the best way to seal straight hair would be to give it a good, cool blowout, and this is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm just pressing my cool shot button and just sticking my blow dryer on my hair for a few minutes. If there are some sections that you're not completely happy with, just take your straightener and give your hair some final touch-ups. And the final step is to apply some sort of serum or oil to the ends of your hair so that it will look shiny and be nourished after the heat styling. And this is the final result. By blow drying your hair, you will not only keep your hair healthier, but you will also obtain better results. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me on Facebook, Twitter, and on my website www.patrijordan.com. Share the love with your friends and see you soon.